Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Believe it or not, this is another haul video. I, I didn't think I, I would get one so fast, and it's not a great big one, but you saw on the uh, thumbnail, there was a few kits that I want to show you, and a few extra little things that are really cool. So, why don't we say, let's get going here. Um, so first, I checked the mail the other day. Love checking the mail. Love checking the mail, and there was a box in there and I'm always curious like oh I wonder what's in this box and I'll show you what was in it and it's really cool so tell me what you think so I got a built complete built model in a display case and I got this from Joe Clark and Nate Mansure. that's what the uh that's what the uh, the box actually, if I could find it and look at the, um, anyway, there was a note in there. It says from Joe Clark and Nate Mancher. But this is a 4, four I mean a uh, 69 Olds 455. It's like, and, and I think you guys sent this because you know this is one of my most favorite kits to build. It, it, it builds up so great. But this thing is covered in glitter. So the paint is not, it's not paint, it's glitter. So this side is purple. As you can see it's smoking the tires and it's toting the front wheels um i opened the hood up it's got plug wires and all so it's it's all done up but how do you like that and it sits it's it so it's got a piece somehow it's got a piece of wire inside that holds it so the i don't want it to fall or anything but i wanted you to see that look at that how cool he's got it he's he just blew the tires off and he just launched it Thank you so much for sending that. That's going to go up on the shelf. And I never thought to do a model in, in glitter. But they did. <laughs> How cool is that? Anyway, thanks Joe and Nate. Whichever one of you guys built this. Also, they sent over. It's a built kit, but it's one that would take a rebuilding. It's, a, it's an old uh, uh, Chevelle. So what's Chevelle? This is more the 67 it's the same as the chevelle i think that everybody kit bashes let me see i'm trying to find it over there on my shelf to see what year is that chevelle dang i don't see it now i got I almost said i got too many but there's there's quite a few over there to try and find it oh well i don't see it anyway it's a it's a chevelle and it's been built but there are so many great parts in here some parts from other kits looks like too um so that is a great pack of parts right there if not re restoring this car that would be pretty cool but thanks guys for sending this stuff over this this car this is definitely gonna go up on the shelf and be looked at so so cool all right and now ebay my ebay haul oh man sorry my air compressor just turned on outside if you can hear that so you i'm boring you to death on these i've you've, i've gotten three no, there's two on the shelf. This is the third now. This is a great kit. I encourage you guys, if you have, um, if you're new to modeling, if you have a child that wants to build a car, this is a good one. This kit builds so well, it's very simple. Not many moving parts with it. Oh, well, there's not really any moving parts, but not many parts. But it's a great kit, kit to build. It goes together really well. And I've got, this is three. Troy sent me one of the older version. So I've actually got four of these now. So I, like I say, I'd encourage you can get this kit really, really cheap, like 15 bucks. I think I might've given $13, no 18, I think all with shipping included for this one off eBay. It's, it's inexpensive, but I don't know why, because it's a great kit. So I encourage you to get that one if you hadn't already. And another eBay find was this. So this 23T delivery van. Now they've repopped these things. I don't know if they've repopped this one exactly. You know, I think they have because I believe I've got it up there on my shelf somewhere. Where in the heck? I'm trying to find it now. Can't find it. But I've got one like this. There it is. Yeah, they have. They sure have. Let me grab it. Hold on. Sorry, I had this already beforehand, but I didn't even, I didn't even think about me having one. Okay, got it. So this is the this is the the re-release. Um, I mean, exactly the same 
box art and everything round two has put back out except it says amt corporation it's got the address for you know troy michigan um but this one has it's pretty cool that they do try to keep the the box art the same but anyway this is the repop but this is the original so this is the 1977 edition of this kit and i got this um it was a spur of the moment i looked on ebay and did my little search thing and it was just about to end and i was able to to get this one very inexpensive it looks like if you open it up you say dang there's that thing's it's missing for one they've added someone added these yeah somebody added these little blue like they were gonna i don't know where this came from but this is cool because it's got like ambulance or nypd or ice and i don't think that's immigration customs enforcement i think that's actually an ice truck <laughs> u.s mail but someone had this and it's it's on a piece of um it's, it's drawn on a piece of legal paper here with some los angeles california uh kissner right and right architects and engineers so it's almost like they draft they blueprinted this thing and then you got the little instructions and really cool anyway 1970 and then you've got the parts it's like wow where the heck's the car at it's all here it's just uh there's not a whole lot to it i mean there's not like it's got a lot of interior or anything the engine's in there it's just taking off the trees the little little tires are on the on the wheels but there's no paint or anything on it and i saw that and i'm like man that's cool Let me get that and put it on the shelf so there's that so that's my ebay snags and then my Froy, my Froy, my friend Troy, tr not, tr okay, I got a friend Troy, my friend Tony Lancer, he and I were chatting back and forth on Messenger, and he had a few kits, and he's like, you interested? And I'm like, yeah, I'm interested. So we did an exchange, and he sent me some kits, and they came in. Oh, I'm sorry, got another eBay. Hold on, back up. It was hidden. Here's my, uh, my last eBay purchase. Pins Oil z7 special penske pc17 that's a mouthful it's an indy car or a uh, not sure what the league was actually called cart well there's my camera just fell anyway it was cart let me see if i can get this back on there really quick don't you love the at least heck this this is real life let's see if that'll stay looks a little crooked Anyway, this is cart, and these are this kit is from uh, 18, 1989, and I've got several Indy cars. I'm just going to categorize them Indy car. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, counting this one, so I thought it was pretty inexpensive, and I'm like that'd be good for my Indy Indy car collection. Okay, back to Tony Lancer. Tony Lancer and I were talking, and and I was like, yeah, I like those. He's like, okay. You send me the money, I send you the models, and we made an exchange, and I appreciate it, bud. But here they are. So first, it's another. I've got one of these 37 Ford sedan by Monogram 124 scale. I've got two now, so I can build one of these. You're thinking, you've got two now, you can build one. That makes no sense. Well, in my mind, it makes sense, because if I don't have two, I, I just feel like I can't build it unless I got two, because I don't want to not have it. I was explaining on my patreon um okay so, oh, real quick uh commercial so i did a patreon video for the patrons i don't have very many yet but i encourage you to go over there to the patreon um linked in the description and join patreon and i did a, a box opening for all these i got from from tony and i was telling the guys i was like i've got this weird feeling like if if i don't have two that or if i don't if if i build a single um and i so let's say this is the only kit i got and i open it and build it i'm like I, even though the car is built and it's on in the display case i feel like i don't have it anymore because it's not represented in a box on the sh on the in the stash so i'm weird like that in that way so what i do is I, i'd like to have two before i build it that way i've got one in the stash and i've got one to build and uh, that's what I, I have here Anyways, there you go. Thank you, Tony. 
Number two from Tony is this cool kit. I have no idea what that noise was. But this cool kit here, 69 Olds W30442. And this is the same kit as the um, 455, less the the air intakes down here. And, and it, uh, the 455 doesn't have them. And the 455 has scoops up here on the hood. Pretty much exactly the same kit, which comes from that MPC. Um, this is an MPC kit rebranded as an AMT, and it builds absolutely fabulous. If you have problems with MPC and you think they're all bad, think again because this is an MPC kit and it builds up so good. And this kit's all in there. The tires are already in little baggies and uh, cool kit. I like to have all the different variations of a kit. So I've got the MP got the MPC. I built the darn AMT, the newer the newer release, and now I've got this one from Ertl. But anyway, cool, cool, cool. And now is a something that is a little again out of the wheelhouse but because it's testers it's, i think it's cool um this is the lamborghini countach lp 500s whatever that means don't you remember as a kid growing up in the 80s what cool cars lamborghinis were and it was like if i could be a millionaire one day i know what kind of car i want i want a lamborghini anyway tony had this and i'm like eh. Lamborghini, but I thought, you know what? Yeah, let's let's get it. And um, it's got the V12 in the back. They uh, watching Jay Leno. I love to talk about Jay Leno and watch him, but he's got one of these Countaches, and he's like, it's a brick. It looks aerodynamic, but it's not. Um, but man, were they cool back in the day. Now they look ridiculous, to be honest with you, to me. But it's a Fujimi kit. So testers, what, what? how does it work? Did testers buy Fujimi or did Fujimi buy testers? I don't know. But it's it's a Fujimi kit in a testers box. And it's cool. Maybe um, Ruthie or Heather or Ellie might want to build this. That's cool. Okay. And last but definitely not least, and I say that with emphasis, definitely not least, is this guy. Accurate Miniatures Corvette Grand Sport. Until Tony showed me this, I'd never seen these. I didn't know there was such a brand as Accurate Miniatures. It's a 124 scale Corvette race car. It's like, got some age on it. It's like 90, early, mid 90s, somewhere. Um, I don't know the history of Accurate Miniatures. Oh dang, it's got a picture on the bottom with the chassis off and everything or the body off the chassis cool but what i did notice is this thing is like super super detailed where did i see a date on this i thought oh yeah right there 1995 accurate miniatures i'm going to open it up and just give you a, a, a glance have you guys ever heard of accurate miniatures i noticed they don't have very many models they're not in business anymore i don't know what happened but they um they mainly it was race cars but what I noticed was the detail was just outstanding. Like, um, I know I'd probably, if I said better than Tamiya, some of you guys would be like, there's no such thing better than Tamiya. But anyway, I would have to say this would give Tamiya a definite run for its money. And the reason why is because, oh my goodness, the detail is so crisp on these parts. Here's the not chrome tree but aluminum tree um these weber carburetors or whatever they are holy cow you can't even imagine you can't see that close on this gopro but i can and this is some highly highly detailed parts so it's got that the body has got these i mean it's cool too the even the bag says accurate miniatures i've got to look into this company the body's got these big flares, all these little details all over the body for there's a cooler, some sort of like transmission cooler or rear differential cooler or something right there. Um, got these holes in this, just amazing. I hate that this company, I don't think it's around anymore. I don't know who purchased them or what, but the engine, oh my goodness, small block Chevy, linkage for the manual transmission here, all molded in. 
look at this timing cover right here well i'm telling you look at it like you i don't know if you can see it or not as well as i can um, the interior the tube chassis right here very detailed amazing i can't i want to like build it but man there's your brakes it's got the, the calipers all molded in and they look like calipers drive shaft all the suspension parts belts that actually look like there's belts inside of a pulley not just you know how most cars it's just like the belt runs up to the pulley and then it's all like one piece this actually has um pulley grooves and there's the belt down in it too cool wow and then the tires Again, I was looking at this one with the Patreon guys and I was saying the tires are just, they actually just look like street tires. You can't really see for the glare and, and you can't get close enough. Um, but there's wider ones for the back, but they're, they're treaded tires. And I was looking, it's like Goodyear, just some kind of Goodyear. But you would think they would have been slicks, but they're not. But anyway, that, that is really, really an awesome kit. Thank you, Tony. Lancer for uh oh and it has some um, some photo etch right here some photo etch parts had some white don't know where this stuff went but it is no good it'd have to be made out of something else because it's curled up some sort of white decal um, so it's got some photo etch and the decal sheet where did i where did i put it it's right here and it's still in good shape so the decal sheet's still here um it says Designed by Jack's Hobby Products and printed in Mexico. So Jack's Hobby Products. No, I'm, I'm wrong. International Hobby Craft. It looks like these things were, were from England. Best I, it's what it says here International on the box. International Hobby Craft, UK, um, Bristol, England. So maybe, maybe Accurate Miniatures. If you guys know anything about Accurate Miniatures, let me know. And it's got a sweet... Uh, I should have done a box. Why am I even doing this? This is just a haul video. I just I just blew a whole video. But anyway, I could, I could have done a video unboxing this thing. But I just did. Got it for free. All right. Cool, cool cars. Cool haul. And I will gladly add them to the stash. This is so cool. I love stash videos, as you guys can probably see. And yes, it's beginning to get a little tight as far as storage but i will somehow make it work because i love this stuff this is my hobby this is this is where it's at i mean i i, I got a few but i i can find some place to keep putting them um yeah guys thanks for watching this video let me know about this i am really really uh interested in this accurate miniatures brand um have you built one have you built that Lamborghini from testers at Fujima kit? And uh, yeah, tell me in the comments, which one of you guys have all these? Have one, two, which ones have you built? Which ones are terrible? I know this one's good, this one's good. I guarantee you that one's good. And I'm sure this one goes together good. This is old. Um, and i know this is this has got some age and i've never built a little indie car i did watch david chin build one recently and uh turned out pretty good anyway all right done talking guys don't forget to go to let's see uh join the facebook group linked in the description below don't forget to go to hobby nut models linked in the description below don't forget to go to the teespring store linked in the description below and don't forget to if you want some behind the scenes early access footage maybe some live streams private live streams go to patreon uh join patreon and uh yeah there you go you get some stuff that nobody else gets to see unless you're a patreon member guys thanks for watching see you next time and uh take care bye